Hello, welcome back, Subgirls here with a more Chrono Cross Blind for the Sony PlayStation. So, I haven't figured out anything, so we're gonna just go straight through Mount Pyre East now. Just yes, screw it. Don't gonna bother fighting you though. Although, I do want to fight the monkey there, I'm just gonna heal up first. See, we've already taken a lot of damage. But, oh well, this is basically all we can really do now. Heal you, heal you, and heal you. Also, we just ended up in the battle, so we don't really have much choice. Cat burglar, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Oh, nice, critical hit already. Well, they do damage me quite a lot, though. I'll give them that. Should probably wait with attacking him. Uh, with Magic, I mean, and just save it for healing instead. When it comes to Grotus, at the very least. And of course, the Solar is as awful as always. Why? Well, he, he jabbed Valak in the face. Oh well. Now, Valak will be the one actually being able to do some damage out of the two. And out of the two, I mean Valak and. Uh, Valak and uh, Grotus. Of course, Solar can do some serious damage with his water magic and ice magic, but so can Valak. Although I do believe that Solar is a little bit stronger with it than Valak is, but that doesn't really matter. Regardless, we're gonna go up to full health after this. There we go. Also got ointment in case we get burned. So let's see what do we get. We get a tablet. Totally worth it then. Or you know, not at all. Oh well, doesn't really matter. So, salt and pepper, it's time to fight those. Of course, we've already seen all this and we've already heard it. Pretty sure I didn't cut it out, at the very least. Well, if I did, well... You will miss it out, I suppose. I'm pretty sure I actually kept this in. All they really talk about is the summoning elements that they're gonna steal. Of course, since I already knew this would happen, I could prepare better, but nope, didn't. Considering that I'm not even sure I'm supposed to go through here yet, I'm just kind of rushing it. The only part with it is that it's uh, a question mark. Oh yeah, black hole. I could actually have stolen that if I wanted to. Oh well, too late for that now I suppose. Unless, of course, I die alongside the way. And decides not to keep this episode. That could be a thing as well. You never really know. Or, you know, I could do like a uh, Chrono Trigger where I accidentally went and attack. What's his name? Lavas. And in the end. Decided to name it an X instead. More as an, alter an alternative episode. Of course, Valak for this battle was not a good choice. The thing is, though, they barely do any damage, so damage wise, enemies here are in my level. But other than that, I'm not so sure. But then again, maybe this place is like, uh, you know... What's it called? Hydra Marshes, where we got the protective gear inside. Anyhow, we're gonna attack Pepper instead. To weaken him, considering that he's weakening Salt for us. You 
know what? I'm gonna go with an Ice Blast. Why not? Although I do prefer Ice Lawns because it's cooler looking. And he attacks Salt again. How nice of him. Even though they barely do any damage, they do have quite a lot of HP though. Can I do an Aqua Ball on him? Why not? Should probably lie low on uh, the blue magic though, or blue elements. Yeah, do your attack. We're actually going with a photon beam on uh, Pepper now. Is it effective? No, oh, okay, sort of. Regular attacks would have done more good. But, you know, we can't have everything. Oh. He's actually attacking regularly now. Good for him. Okay, Valak is starting to take a beating. Well, at least hit with one attack. That's better than absolutely nothing. Okay, seriously, I'm missing again. Come on, hit not. Again, really? Okay, I should probably prepare to heal up next turn. Or, you know, with... Um Oh, he has the flu. Oh boy, I forgot. No, wait, never mind, it's okay. You are going to go with a magma bomb to actually weaken both of them now. Nine, seven, wonderful. Oh boy, another miss. Let's go with a magma bomb then. Hopefully, solar will do more damage. Yeah, a little bit more. Not good enough though. Okay, good, he missed. But so did I. Aside from the last attack, of course. Well, Solar is down. And now, of course, it's... Salt's turn. Uh, no, you're actually. Valak is actually gonna increase his own uh, evade here. As for you, well, your only choice is really to revive. So you might as well go ahead and do it right away. There we go, much better. Okay, so Pepper is down. Now... You're gonna clear up yourself, Solar. To make sure that you actually survive. Oh boy, Velik is almost down. Luckily he got to cure himself. So he's gonna heal himself as well. If Curtis could get some more stamina, that'd be great though. More stamina for growers, please. This is basically us dragging out the turn. You know what? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go with Air Saucer. Considering that he's Earth, so wind should be effective. 69, yeah, that's definitely effective. Bushwhacker it is. Green against green. I mean yellow. 43, not good enough. Oh, well at least it's a new... Okay. 
I thought there would be a new turn, but apparently not because well it got another sh another chance. And now of course Solar got another chance. I really hate when this happens, when they just refuse to refill their stamina. Okay, there we go, Salt is now dead. Something tells me I'm supposed to have more attack by this point. Oh well, we reach a new growth level, HP up 16, strength and magic by 1, 13, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1, okay that's fine by me. Iron West and Iron Male, should probably equip that right away. Shake it out of here! Pepper! I think I'm actually gonna keep this episode. Might as well now. Let's see, 31. Okay, that's worse. Evade would be better, but nope. Let's see. Okay. I could increase my hit. But I don't think I want to do that. I'm actually going to increase Velik's hit. And I'm gonna give him the Iron Vest. He still has bronze weapons though. They don't have that good weapons. That is for sure. Now let's see... Enemy I suppose? Yep, enemy. Just making sure, that's all. Okay, so we do have a new enemy. Might as well keep the spell in then. Hot Dignity, or what was it called? Then again, we haven't shown the... It's a dog. Huh. We haven't really shown the regular enemy either. Uh, I mean, the giant demon, so we should probably do that as well. You know what? Might as well go with Ice Blast while we're at it. Drop all the stamina while we have the chance. And a 56, good enough. Okay, Velik is a lot better now with better accuracy. Of course, giving it to Grodus would be more beneficial in the long run. Ooh, triple fist. But at the same time, Velik needs to be, be become you more useful. Okay, there we go. Not that Velik isn't useful, it's just that I need him to be more useful than he was. From Hydra Marches. Marches. Okay, they get some more HP, so that's nice. We have some exploration to do after all. I could go down there, but that would cost me all of my HP at the same time. So I should probably avoid it for now. Okay, I don't really want to fight every single enemy though. Velik and Grodus got more HP, so we're gonna head further up actually instead of going into the lava there. To see where we end up. Although I have a slight bad feeling about this, we're gonna fight the demon first. And we might as well show off the demon battle because we haven't really done that. Okay, we're fighting against two demons. We have taken damage, but these guys are fairly easy to deal with, actually. Only problem is that they have higher eva evasion than uh, previous enemies. So in that regard, they're actually harder to deal with. Lava Breath, on the other hand, does not do that much damage. But once you uh, have been damaged a bit further, like this, that's where it can be a bit tricky. For example, Solar is down to half his HP already. Gonna use an Ice Blast on this guy though. Oh, 3 fire, not good at all. So, we're gonna take the chance and actually kill this guy. There we go, good. And now, Aqua Ball plus 2. I think that will be enough to actually take 
Maybe not kill the enemy. But definitely weaken him. Making it easy for Grodus to actually land some good hits in. Okay, he missed on 95. Great, Grodus. Keep on missing. Okay, at least Solar managed to take him care of the devil. Or the demon. So that's at least good. Another Magma Burst and we got Silver Pendant. Not bad. Of course we are burned, so that's not good. Okay, you got an Inferno though. That is better. Okay, so we have two more trash chests here. Tablet. Oh yeah, there was a trash chest in the lava in the beginning of this dungeon, which has a tablet in it as well. Anyhow, I'm gonna refill my HP, so give me a second. Okay, there we go, we are officially back, so let's take care of this enemy. Okay, maybe not then. Okay, we have a save point here. Might as well save it then. So, let us save. Uh, let's save on... Yeah, we're supposed to go to Water Dragon Isle, but at the same time... I couldn't figure that one out, so... This is essentially... Let's see what the kind of tips it will give us now. Nope, same. Fair enough. So the question is, what will we find if we go up? Mm, a big dragon, apparently. Yeah, it's a boss fight. What's that? It looks stuck. Probably is stuck. Oh, it's a mini drain. Hey, hey, lad! Wanna challenge me to a fight? Come on, what do you say? Uh, sure, why not? Why not? What is the worst thing that could have ha could happen? Fire Dragon, this is not gonna be too difficult, I hope. You know what, if I could hit, that would be great. Oh yeah, I don't have full HP, I forgot about that. Oh well, next turn, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna go with El Fiery Breath. Could be potentially dangerous, no wait, that's not... Never mind. Oh well, we'll go with an Ice Blast then. We'll have to deal with this without Grodus. Velik, do your thing. Okay, his attack is fearsome. I'll have to give him that. But can he survive this Aqua Ball plus two, I wonder? We shall see. Okay, he did. Hmm. Should be careful with attacks further on. Okay, hardly any worth damage there. But we'll have to go with it. Uh oh. Unless this misses. Okay, solar is down. You know what, I'm gonna go with another Aqua Ball. It's probably gonna do 30 damage, and if we die, we die. It's as simple as that. 54. Should probably heal up now. With a cure. Or, you know, escape. But considering that we saved, it doesn't really matter. Okay, 48. Okay, another Fury Breath. That's gonna kill us. Okay, so... I guess... 
I think I know how this works actually. This is not really a real fight. And we're supposed to have the divine protection of the water dragon so that we are immune to his fire. That is my guess. So I suppose I'm officially stuck for real then. Anyhow, I'll end off the episode here. So this has been Apogrodus. Thank you for watching. Stay Frogger1. And I hope to see you next time. See you then.